Hi, everyone. Welcome to Around Town, presented to you by the Mary Dwyer team. I'm Mary Dwyer. And I'm Amy Easterly. Today, we're at the Newtown Theater. Let's check it out. We're talking to Andy Smith, the executive director of the historic Newtown Theater. We're excited to have sponsored the theater in the past. We have a brick out front. We have our appreciation net for our clients here. Andy, tell us a little bit about the theater. The theater was first built in 1831, and it was rebuilt larger in 1883. Our claim to fame is we're the oldest continuously operating movie theater in the country. But today we do concerts, comedy shows, movies, all kinds of special events. The whole summer is filled with concerts. We have some cult movies planned. We have free kids movies that we do on Wednesday afternoons. So what's the state of the theater in 2023? Actually, we came out of COVID very strong. There's more demand for the theater than ever. People are just really loving the fact that they have a hometown theater right here for concerts, comedy, movies, things like that. We have tons of rentals here. Everything from people who have their own personal party to companies that hold client appreciation things, things like that. I always tell people that if you can think of it, we can probably do it here. So you had a recent renovation where you redid the bottom floor. What's the history of the theater? Yeah, we did. About two years ago, we did a $600,000 renovation, redid the whole first floor. The plan is for summer of 24 to do the balcony in the same way we did the downstairs. So I'm going to have to visit that balcony before you renovate it because I've been coming here since I was a child, eight that, years old. <laughs> that balcony is very popular. <laughs> and you're a nonprofit, aren't you? We are a nonprofit. So we get a lot of our support from donors, sponsors like you. We also have a membership program. We have a thousand members. So if you become a member of the theater, you get discounts at the theater. That's a big source of support. We're at 120 North State Street. So we're within a block of the main shopping district of Newtown. Well, I have to say you're doing a great job. We come to a lot of the events here. We've had a great time, concerts. We did a dueling piano Dual event. Piano. So, so much fun. We'll see you again soon. Hi, welcome to Around Town, a small business series presented by the Mary Dwyer team. I'm Mary Dwyer. I'm Amy Easterly. Today we're at Burns Auto Repair in Newtown Bucks County. Let's go check it out. Amy and I are here today with Dave Burns. Burns Auto has been here, I remember coming here as a child. So mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about the history. Well, my great aunt and uncle bought this property in 1951 and they ran it until 1977. I was pumping gas here as a little kid for them back then. My father was asked to come down and help work on some cars. He was a mechanic at the dealership down the street. And two weeks later, he was working here full time and we've been here ever since. And we've been bringing our cars here for probably 25 years. Yeah, so yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I consider you guys our trusted advisors, but also our friends at this point. Mm -hmm. I mean, we chat about our cars, what kind of cars to buy. We talked to Dave about where to go hiking. So we really appreciate your help over the well, years. Absolutely. We've been yeah. very fortunate that way. We've made a lot of friends, a lot of customers. Good morning, Burns Auto Repair. Can I help you? I think the reason we are so busy and we've been very, very fortunate is I grew up here. My parents were both born right here on Washington Avenue, right next door to each other they grew up. Having that base in Newtown and then with all the new people that have come in in the last 35, 40 years, word of mouth. We don't advertise any other way, and we've just been very, very fortunate that way. We're at 19 North Sycamore Street, Newtown. We're right across the street from Fred Bean's Ford. We're the Shell Station. We'll see you again soon. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Around Town. This is a small business series presented by the Mary Dwyer team. I'm Mary Dwyer. I'm Rachel Fitz, and today we're at Yoga Six in Newtown. Let's check it out. Hi, we're here with Sam. She's the general manager. Welcome, guys. Sam, tell us a little bit about the studio. So we just recently opened, and we're an all-inclusive yoga studio. So whether it's your first time practicing yoga or you've been a yogi for 10 years, we're the studio for you. We offer a range of classes, whether they're more intense or more restorative. So really have a options for everybody. Do you guys have any special workshops coming up? Yeah, we offer a variety of workshops. We did just have an aerial workshop. We also have a sound bath. Rachel and I started yoga for stress management. We kind of find that there's three reasons that a lot of people come into the studio. One is they want to look better, another is they want to feel better, or the third is the doctor told them to. We have stress management, we also have people that are just overall looking to move the body. If we take the restorative option, we are very great to accommodate other workouts as well. I think the community aspect is a really big play in that as well, of creating that community of people that are taking the same classes as you. And all your yoga instructors seem to have a little bit of a different vibe, so there's something for everyone here yes. I've found. 
So that's the great thing about Yoga Sticks is we do offer different teachers. So whether you're taking that same hot class that has a set sequence, it's the same class every time, different teachers have their own little flair on there. So they have their own vibes. I know a lot of hockey players that do yoga Absolutely. for their core strength. Yes. Yeah, core is definitely a big part of that. And I think that's underestimated in yoga. A lot of people don't realize how much core strength is involved. Rachel and I love yoga to lower our stress level. And this is our studio yeah, and this is our Sam. So we'll see you again soon. Hi everybody, welcome to Around Town, a small business series presented by the Mary Dwyer team. I'm Mary Dwyer. I'm Amy Easterly. And today we're at the Newtown Bookshop. Let's go check it out. We're here with Kathy Morrison at the Newtown Bookshop. Happy to be with you. I have been the owner for 11 years now, and it is truly a passion. When my children were growing up, we would visit this store, and we just had so many good memories. I had been bringing my kids here since they were little as well, and when you bought it, I was so excited. My children also grew up coming to this bookstore. We are an independent bookstore, very different than the big chains. And what makes us different is our booksellers, our staff, the way we curate the books here. We actually hand pick all the books in the store. I've walked into the store and everyone's so helpful. And I would also say that if you guys don't have the book, you can order it and get it within just a couple of days. What I hope to do is let people learn, bring entertainment and relaxation. We wanted to ask you about this event series you've been running. We just had Emma Straub, a number one New York Times bestseller, Kristen Higgins, another New York Times bestselling author, and Ellen Hildebrand in the store signing copies of her new summer read. We are so happy to be part of the Newtown community. Thanks everybody, we'll see you again soon. Hi everybody, welcome to Around Town, presented to you by the Mary Dwyer team. We're highlighting local businesses around Newtown. I'm Mary Dwyer. And I'm Amy Easterly. Today we're at Megaleo's Pizza. Let's go check it out. We're here today with Joe and we're talking pizza. Tell us about the history of Megalos. So Megalos was opened in August uh, 1995. So the place has been around for many, many years. We've been at the new location for about eight years now. And uh, me and my brother, we took over this business about a couple years ago. I go out. Yes, <laughs> and so far it's been, it's been very good for us. We love it. My family loves it. Amy comes here. Yeah, we always used to get our pizzas when we ran a basketball camp. We'd always order a big old stack of pizzas. <laughs> awesome. One thing special about, about Meglio's is that uh, it's got a different flavor because it's oven fire, right? <laughs> Because everything we do in here is made with love, you know, we care, we do everything with a lot of passion and we take pride in what we do. And you said this to me earlier, what does Meglios mean? Meglio means the best, Meglio. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. We'll see you again soon. Hi everyone, welcome to Around Town. This is a small business series presented to you by the Mary Dwyer team. I'm Mary Dwyer. I'm Karen Caggia. We're here today at Sharon Brown's highly recommended salon. Let's go check it out. Let's go. So Sharon, tell me about the salon. I've been here for 41 years. Historical Newtown, we're in 1860 Karen House. There was three salons when I opened. Now it's called the beauty capital of Bucks County, Bucks County because there's so many. Karen's been coming to me for how long, Karen? Well, a long time, <laughs> considering that you cut, gave me my first haircut when I was 18 years old and I, my hair was down to here <laughs> and I wanted that varicose to do and she did it perfectly. <laughs> Tell us about the business. When you come into my salon, you come into my home and we treat you like family. I love making a person feel good about themselves. Since I was nine years old, I've always wanted to be a hairdresser. So all you the, do cut, We do color, cut, coloring, all the new techniques and coloring, straightening, texturizing. But we're a healthy salon, nothing but organic product. Because if you don't have healthy hair, if your hair doesn't look good in condition, the color's not going to look right, the style's not going to look right. And we also sit down and we talk to you first. When you come in, it's a great consultation because you wear the look, the look doesn't wear you. I got the name highly recommended because people would recommend me. 
So they name my salon. I can come in here with like a little piece of hair that's bothering me, or I can tell Sharon, this isn't working. Or this little piece of hair right here is annoying me and driving me crazy. And she will do some magical trick to make it lay right and, and, and help me. Being there for the client no matter what. It's like, you know, the hair makes you feel good about yourself. We're located at 6 Washington Avenue, Newtown, PA. We'll see you again soon. I'm Mary Dwyer. I'm Rachel Fitz. I'm Amy Easterly. And today we're here with Around Town, a small business series presented to you by the Mary Dwyer team. Today we're here at Triumph Brewing Company in New Hope. Let's check it out. We're talking to Eric Nutt. This is a really cool place. This opened in 2003. We're a full service restaurant and brewery. We host plenty of private events. Everything's brewed right here in house. We do have seven beers on tap at all times. They change and rotate seasonally. We've brewed over 140 different styles. Winter Wonder, Bach beers over the winter time, and stouts. German style is what we sort of pride ourselves on. Cheers. And we've got trained brewers that take their time and really put a lot of love and energy into each beer that they brew. Okay. Do you have a favorite? My favorite's the Keller Pills, Touch Bitter. That's what the brewers would drink if they could drink one beer forever. <laughs> and so we, we love that beer here. So you guys have a location in Princeton as we're in well. Princeton. We were the first licensed and the second to open in the state of New Jersey in 1995. And back then, there was about 10 or 12 members of the New Jersey Craft Brewers Guild. Now there's nearly 200. Pennsylvania here, we were one of the first in Eastern PA in 2003. So this is a really cool building. It was an old paper mill, and so we remodeled it. When the weather's nice, you can sit outside. The patio outside on the train station is really nice. The ambiance of that is yeah. really cool. I mean, New Hope's a great town foot traffic, theater, train station, sort of our model. We host a lot of nonprofit events. We're at 400 Union Square in New Hope, Pennsylvania, directly on the New Hope Ivy Land Railroad. Cheers. We'll see you next time. Hi everyone, welcome to Around Town. This is a small business series presented to you by the Mary Dwyer team. I'm Mary Dwyer. I'm Rachel Fitz. And we're here today at Peddler's Village, and we're going to check out the Snuggle Bunny Boutique. Rachel and I are here today with Jason Kaufman. I had spent 25 years in the entertainment industry. When it collapsed with COVID, moved to the area, actually ran into the previous owner, mentioned that, you know, I've always thought of a business in Peddler's Village as being really fun. He was like, well, what do you think about this? Would you consider doing children's clothing and things? And here you are. I'm like, <laughs> time for a change. <laughs> What's going on with children's clothing? Are people looking for more organic? They are, and a lot of the new styles and the new fabrics, like the bamboo especially, is a huge seller right now. From 100% cotton to organic certified cotton, just a little bit of everything. Classic with small rompers and onesies and things like that. To, we have a company called Mia New York that's kind of punkish, and they have I some fun, it. just a little something different that you're not gonna find. I always find something really unique. Everything in here is unusual, hand curated. You wanna find something that you're not gonna find at another store. You get to feel the fabrics, you get to see the sizes. Yes. What have you changed since taking over? Pretty much everything. We listened to the customers when they came in, more sizes, different styles. So trying different things for two years, we bring in small boutique brands. I see, notice the little chewers in the back are really unique. What kind of things are you looking for to bring in? I go by my thought that if it makes me laugh, I'll bring it in. <laughs> Tell us about Peddler's Village. Uh, Peddler's is really great. They have at least a festival every month. There's always stuff for the kids to do. They really try to keep it family focused and it's just a, a really wonderful place. Even if you don't shop, just to come to walk around. So what are the events that are coming up? It's a winter wonderland. It's like a Hallmark movie. You're walking through and it's just Christmas lights and Santa hats. We love being able to be here and doing what we do. We are at 61 Peddler's Village in the Upper Green, located in between the Thomas Kincaid Gallery and the jewelry nest. Thanks everyone, we'll see you next time. Hi everyone, welcome to Around Town. This is a small business series presented to you by the Mary Dwyer team. I'm Mary Dwyer. And I'm Amy Easterly. And we're here today at Greenology Organic Living. Let's check it out. 
We're here today with Fritzy. Take a look at the beauty around us. Fritzy, tell us a little bit about your store. We are an eco-friendly store. We grow everything organically and we do a lot of planting parties, birthday parties, ladies night out, date night, team building. A lot of the companies, they do like an annual retreat where they do something together, making terrariums or living wreath and they work together and have fun. I actually purchased gift certificates for all my girlfriends one year for the holidays and we came and we did a terrarium class and it was a lot of fun. You yeah. know, you can be creative and you got, you know, put your sand and your moss and your yeah. air plants and we had a great time doing it. I, I don't necessarily have a green thumb, but I try. <laughs> when you have a lot of plants and they're not doing well, they're stressing you out. Right. Right? Yeah. Plants should make you happy. Right. So yeah. our goal is to always educate. Just being in the store brings my blood pressure down. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's what plants do. It, yes. Yes. <laughs> so how did you get into this? Original intention is to just grow herbs and tomatoes and peppers. And then I started making terrariums. We started going to art shows. Having your shop in the village, do you like it? We love it. Peddler's Village is a great community. Christmas, it's such a great feeling. You, it's not just all about shopping, but it's about family. So when people come back to the, your store, what's bringing them back again and again? The most common reaction is when people walk in, it's like, oh! you know, so we love that. Right. It's like all your hard work is paying off. Yeah. So we are here at Peddler's Village, right on Street Road, across the parking lot from the visitor center. Thanks everyone. See you again soon. Hi everybody, welcome to Around Town. This is a small business series presented to you by the Mary Dwyer team. I'm Mary Dwyer. I'm Dave Wagner. And we're here today at Earl's New American Restaurant in Peddler's Village. Let's go check it out. Let's go. Evan Gentile, the executive chef. Earl's New American was founded back in 2013. New aged American food with grilled steak with different ethnicities incorporated into our cuisines. So what are you gonna whip up for us today? I was thinking about making our short rib dish. It's one of our popular dishes. I like to keep our food consistent. Good quality, making sure the execution is done right. If you have that consistent role, the repeat clientele is gonna bring in the new people that come in from New Jersey, New York. We've gotten a huge following around the Bucks County area. And what does it take to be an executive? Uh, there's a lot of trial and error. I started my training at the Middle Bucks Institute of Technology, and then I went off to CIA, which is in Hyde Park, New York. After my training, I went to the Fountain Restaurant in Philadelphia, which kind of like helped me learn all facets of the business. I hope you enjoy. And that's what prepares you to be an executive chef. I've been here for six years. The restaurant industry is constantly evolving. There's always something new to learn. And what do you think about Peddler's Village? It's beautiful. I mean, there's something for everybody to do. You have dining, you have a hotel. This is our busy season. Usually when it gets cool, it gets crowded around here during festivals. It's a lot of fun. Extraordinary. It's a beautiful presentation. Beautiful. Yeah. Delicious. Earl's New American is located at 202 and Street Road. Peddler's Village, Lahaska. Boy, that was some good short rib. It sure was. We'll see you next time. Hi everyone, I'm Mary Dwyer. And I'm Rachel Fitz. We're here today with Around Town, a small business series presented to you by the Mary Dwyer team. Today we're going to check out Magic Kava Tea House and Kava Bar. Let's take a look. We're here with Caitlin and Eric. We are a full herbal apothecary and tea house, Kava Bar. We make a huge variety of herbal teas. We really were fascinated with how great ancient remedies can be good in this modern time period. Before we opened, we started formulating all these different tea blends all the time. And we also make something called kava here. What does kava do? It lifts the mood, it takes away stress, it takes away anxiety. What's your favorite one? Our blue moon tea. It's got something in it called blue lotus, chamomile, really amazing herbs. And it's a real tranquil end of the night tea. And it's naturally a blue color. You just did an original blend for Rachel today. Yeah. Rachel said she had a little problem with her throat, so we wanted to give her... Marshmallow, Tulsi, mm. Ginger, Slippery on. Yeah, we're always trying to make a custom blend. My favorite part of the job. Making the custom Making blends? Making custom blends, people coming in with different ailments and being able to help them. How do you like being in New Hope? It's 
a dream, really. The community here is fantastic. If you want to go somewhere that's not a bar, there's an option to go out and be social. We're open late every night till midnight, sometimes later, and we have events here. We have the open mics, we have art nights, dance parties. We also have a really amazing Halloween party here. We're here in beautiful New Hope, Bucks County, right on Main Street. So everybody, come on in, ask for Caitlin, and she'll make you your own custom blend. <laughs> Delicious. We'll see you next time. Welcome to Around Town, a small business series brought to you by the Mary Dwyer team. I'm Mary Dwyer. And I'm Amy Easterly. Today we're at the Newtown Bicycle Shop. Let's take it for a spin. We're here with owner Harry Betts. How long have you been in business, Harry? About 40 years. So what started you with biking? My first real job was Sears and Roebuck down on the boulevard, working with a fella. We decided to do something wild and crazy. We're gonna go ride our bicycles to Florida. I didn't even have a bike at that time. I had a lot of time thinking, I thought, this would be kind of cool to do. What does it cost to get into biking? You could get a bike for three, four, five hundred bucks and off you go. Why buy a $5,000 bike? A better bike typically is lighter, faster, cover more ground. shock absorbers. That would be a mountain bike. Yeah, we love to ride on the towpath and cross over to the Jersey side and mm -hmm. you can just go and explore. Tyler Park is right around the corner. The towpath along the river, close to 200 miles of trails up and down the Delaware River. I go down to Bristol, go up north, it gets really yeah. beautiful. There's nothing like riding on the back roads of Bucks County. We've both brought our bikes in here for maintenance. How often should people do that. If you ride on a regular basis, I recommend getting it tuned up like once a year. The biggest thing that people don't do on their bicycles that they should do is air pressure. So tell us about e-bikes. It's actually exploding. It does get a whole new segment into biking. People get on those bikes and they can ride places they haven't been able to ride and get up hills they haven't been able to ride in years. What keeps me going, I like it. I like, like the people. It's gratifying keeping people going. We're located at 30 North State Street, Newtown Borough, Pennsylvania. Thanks everyone. We'll see you on the bike paths. Around Town is presented by the Mary Dwyer team. We're honored to be in the top half of 1% of all Berkshire Hathaway Home Services real estate agents. Do you have a suggestion for a local business we should feature? We'd love to hear from you, so give us a call.